guys. Good morning. Today, we're going to be talking about DC offset and how to remove it. Now, we're up here at supermastering.com forward slash understanding dash DC dash offset. Uh, I get a lot of information from this site. These guys are pretty good at what they do. And the technical explanation for DC offset is an offsetting of a signal from zero. Now, you'll notice on your waveform as you're recording your audio that you have that center line. So anything above it or below it is considered DC offset. It says the term orig or originated in electronics where it refers to a direct current voltage, but the concept has been extended to any representation of a waveform. Now, what they're talking about is simply this. If you have your recording gear or your computer and you record into your computer, and let's say that you have it on the same circuit as a window unit, like an air conditioner, or you have it on your kitchen circuit of your electrical that is the same that your microwave works on. Well, if these appliances are running, that causes a DC offset in your electrical, and this will get transferred into your audio. So if you hear a lot of low humming or noise or pops and clicks, this could very well be where it's coming from. So that's the explanation. And it goes on to say the DC offset is usually undesirable. For example, in audio processing, which is what we do, a sound that has DC offset will not be at the loudest possible volume when normalized because the offset consumes headroom. And this problem can possibly extend to the mix as a whole since a sound with DC offset and a sound without DC offset will have DC offset when mixed. In other words, if you have one track with no DC offset and another track that has DC offset, when you mix these together, you will have DC offset. It may also cause other artifacts depending on what is being done with the signal. Okay, so it's real simple to get it out using Reaper, truly any other DAW, and it's going to involve frequencies, and it's going to involve the low frequencies. Now, Reaper actually has a, a plug-in for this, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at how to use this DC offset plugin, as well as how to use a regular one band EQ to remove this offset as well using any DAW. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to Reaper. Okay, guys, so here we are back in Reaper. And I've got a little promo that I've been working up. Let's go ahead and we're going to pull up. Now, I want to show you where I've got these. I've got a DC filter, the RIA EQ and the audio statistics. Now, for the uh, DC filter, it's right here. If you click on JS, you'll see where it says DC filter. And you'll also see where it has the audio statistics. Uh, give me just a second. Right here it is, uh, the audio statistics. And then if you come under uh, Caucus, then you're going to come up here and find the real uh, RIA uh, EQ, okay, which is right here. So that's what we're going to be working with. So let's go ahead and bring up the audio statistics. And what we're going to be looking at is this number right down here. That is our DC offset. So let's go ahead and play this and just listen to it. And this week's who put the in the first three letters of association, association. goes to Okay, so as you can see, uh, remember now, uh, simple mathematics, negative zero point. So we've got our ones, tens, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then millions. And what this number represents is where this waveform is either above or below the center line of the waveform, which is zero dBs. Okay? So let's go ahead and bring up the DC filter. And we're going to go ahead and engage that. And let's watch these numbers again now as we play this. And this week's who put the <laughs> in the first three letters of association, association goes to. Now, as you can see, it's dropped dramatically. Okay, we are now into the millions. 
And what they're talking about as far as headroom, if the waveform up here is above that zero, then you have less headroom at the top. So when you get ready to normalize your audio, it will affect that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and disengage this and let's bring up our EQ. Now, all I've done here is come up to the stock track default, and then I simply reset it to default, and I'll show you it's just real simple. Uh, let me find out where it's at, track default. Just reset the defaults, come over to number four, and just start removing these bands till you get to number one. Now here, we're simply gonna come in and we're gonna change this to a high pass. As you can see, it's cut off that low frequency now, okay? So, and I did this beforehand. I just looked at a couple different places from 100 hertz down to 50, and they're all giving me basically the same number. So let's go ahead and engage this, and let's watch this one more time. And this week's Who Put the in the first three letters of association, association goes to and as you can see as well it's brought it all the way into the millions and that's it guys it's just that simple to remove the dc offset from your tracks all right god bless take care and we are out of here